Every Anabit pack comes with animations that are pre-made. Uh, right now we're looking at the Ecology and Environment, which is a free pack that you can get on the tutorials page at anabits.com. And right here, if I double click on this, you can see one of the problems is it's difficult to preview these. And that's why I created the free app, SWF Exporter, which you can get for free at swfanimations.com. And you can see here that what all I have to do is I can open, I'm just opening up a folder and I'm just going to go ahead and do it again. In fact, I'll back out so you can see here I'm in that same folder. I'm just going to go ahead and click on it and open it and it's going to show me what I already see uh, because I, I had already done that. And you can now see that if I just click on the different animations, I can see them up here. And, but it also allows you to preview them and get the name of the file. And it also converts it to MOV if you need to, and we'll talk about that in a second. Now, if you are working with programs that support SWF, then you can just import those right in, such as Explainio. And what I've done with this particular file is I set up a file where I imported an SVG. This is actually from a backgrounds pack from Anabits.com. And I did a just quick fade in of this animation, and then I imported in the animations, uh, the, S the one of the SWF animations. Now, in order to do that, I need to come to the be on the canvas, and I go down here and I click on Add Animation. I actually did that already. You can uh, see I just selected one of these. I'm not going to do it again. So um, after it imports, it actually usually comes in a little small, kind of kind of like this. And I just hold down the Shift key and I grab one of the corners and size it up. Just kind of roughly position it where I think it's going to need to be. It is not like uh, some of the uh, layered uh, timeline video programs. So I have to do the preview in order to get an idea if, if it's right. Now Now I need to move it over just a little bit, you know, something like that and get an idea. There we go. It looks a little bit better. And so that's how you can use it with programs like Explainio. Video Maker Effects is another program that you can do that with as well and then you also can use something like After Effects. After Effects will let you import SWF files uh, straight on. You can see that I've got a bunch here and I've animated them um, in and out and so I'll just kind of quickly show you how they come in and out so and they're actually also animating. I just did a small render there. So uh, you can do that. Also Camtasia on the PC will import SWF files as well. So if you're not using a video program that supports uh, SWF, then you can use SWF Exporter to convert the file to MOV. And this is going to use the animation codec, which means that the background is transparent. And so you can do that. I've already done that here and I've, I've imported it into, let's see, let me find it. I had ScreenFlow. There we go. And you can see I have one of the animations there. And I just put that on. Now you notice that um, I've had a few people call and say, oh, you know, it's black right there. Well, that's actually, it shows up black, but it's really transparent. Uh, now, if you're seeing black, uh, then, you know, you're actually potentially using a, an, uh, a version or a program that doesn't support the animation codec for Apple. Now, if you're on a PC, the thing that you need to be aware of is that Apple discontinued supporting QuickTime on the PC as of April 2016. But what you can do is you can go to oldversion.com or other sites and get an old version of QuickTime. And then you're, you should be able to utilize the MOVs with the transparency um, if you're on a PC. So some programs like Sony Vegas Pro have it built in and you should be fine. Uh, but just be aware that um, if you're on a PC, you may have to jump through a few hoops to be able to utilize MOV files, not just from us, but from anyone, because the animation codec is required for that transparency. But, you know, you can see here that all I've done is I've imported it in. I like to leave a little gap there at the beginning, and I like the fact that I like to use a program like ScreenFlow or Camtasia or Shotcut or what um, other programs. Shotcut's free, by the way. Uh, and you can, you know, it, so you can do this layered thing and have concurrent motion at once. Explain to you three is going to have uh, layers as well. So uh, that's coming soon. Uh, if you're watching this, that would be as of Jan, no, July 19th. But anyways, there you go. That's how you can utilize the animations that come with each Anabit pack.